Hi guys, tonight we're going to be doing some addition with regrouping. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's add this problem, 48 plus 44. To find out the sum of 48 plus 44, first thing I have to do is add the two add-ins in my ones column. What is 8 plus 4? Use the strategies that we talked about in class to come up with the sum of 8 plus 4. It is 12. 8 plus 4 is 12. Now I need to put my answer in my problem. But here's my question. Can I put all of those 12s in my 1s column? No, because we know that the number 12 means that I have one group of 10 and I have two ones. The only way that I could put this into my problem is by placing the two into the ones column and then I'm going to do what we call regrouping or carrying that extra 10 from 12 into my tens column. Now I'm ready to add the tens column. Using the strategies we've learned for addition, find the sum of 4 plus 4 plus 1. 4 plus 4 plus 1 gives me 9. So the sum to 48 plus 44 is 92. Okay, let's go on to our next problem. All right, we're going to add 15 plus 38. Again, just like the last problem, we have to begin by adding the add-ins in the ones column. Using the math strategies that you know, find the sum of 5 plus 8. What is 5 plus 8? It is 13. So that 13 now I have to put into my answer. Can I put all of those 13 ones in the ones place? No, I can't. I can only put ones. How many ones do I have in the number 13? Three. What then I have to take and carry that one group of 10 into the tens column. Now I'm going to add the tens. What is the 110 that I regrouped plus 110 plus 3 tens? What is 1 plus 1 plus 3? Using your math strategies, find the sum of 1 plus 1 plus 3. And you got it. 5 is the sum. So when I have 15 plus 38, it gives me the sum of 53. All right, here we go with one more. You're doing great, hang in there. This time, we're going to add 95 plus 25. What's the first thing that we have to do? You guessed it. We've got to add our ones column first. So what is 5 plus 5? It is 10. 5 plus 5 is 10. Knowing what you know about the number 10, can you put all the number 10 into the ones place? You can't. So how many ones do we have in the number 10? Zero ones. All we have is one group of ten. So what do we do with that one? That one group of ten 
We're going to carry it to the tens column. Now we're ready to add that tens column. What is 1 plus 9 plus 2? Using your math strategies, find the sum of 1 plus 9 plus 2. I know that 1 plus 9 gives me 10, so all I have to do now is add the 10 plus 2, which gives me 12. 9 plus 2 plus 1 gives me 12, making the answer 120. All right, now. We're going to take about the next five minutes to complete the four problems on your homework sheet. So go ahead and get your homework sheet out. And let's take a look at the first problem. The first problem you should see is 39 plus 83. Knowing what you know about adding two digits together, we have to add the ones column first. So if I'm adding 9 plus 3, I'm going to use my math strategies to come up with the sum of 9 plus 3. 9 plus 3 gives me 12. I know that I cannot put 12 into my 1's place, so I'm going to put the two 1's in the number 12 in the 1's column, and then I'm going to carry that 1, 10, or regroup that 110 into the tens column. Then I'm ready to add the tens column. Add it with me. 1 plus 3 plus 8. Do your easy math. Using your strategies that you know, what is the sum of 1 plus 3 plus 8? You've got it. It is 12. Therefore, the sum of 39 plus 83 is 122. Good job, guys. You are really doing well. All right, let's look at the next problem. 62 plus 81. I'm going to find the sum or the answer to this addition problem. Knowing what I know about addition with regrouping, I always have to start with my ones column. So looking at my ones column, 2 plus 1 gives me 3. 2 plus 1 gives me 3. Now I'm going to add the tens column. Knowing my math strategies, what is 6 plus 8? Using my strategies, I know that 6 plus 8 is 14, making the sum of 62 plus 81, 143. Yay! Great job! All right, let's take a look at the next problem. I have 27, I'm sorry, I have 23 plus 87. You know what to do. The first thing that we do when we're adding and regrouping, I start with the ones column. What is the sum of 3 plus 7? 3 plus 7 is 10. I know that I don't have any ones in the number 10, so I'm going to put zero ones in the ones column. And that one group of 10, I'm going to regroup or carry it to the tens column, and now I'm ready to add the tens. Doing my simple math, I know that 8 plus 2 is 10, plus one more gives me 11, making the sum of 1 plus 2 plus 8, 11. The sum of 23 plus 87 is 100. 10. All right, here's the next one. 28 plus 43. 28 plus 43. I'm going to be finding the sum. 
I know that the first thing that I do is add my ones column using my math strategy. I'm going to come up with the sum of 8 plus 3. 8 plus 3 gives me the sum of 11. I know that in the number 11, I have one 1 and one group of 10. Therefore, the 1 1 will go into the, you got it, the 1's column. And then my one group of 10, I'm going to regroup or carry over to the 10's place. Now I'm ready to add my 10 place value. 1 plus 2 plus 4. Using a math strategy, what is the sum of 1 plus 2 plus 4? You've got it. 1 plus 2 plus 4 gives me the sum of 7. Making the answer to my problem, 28 plus 43 gives me the sum of 71. Here's just a few things that I want you to remember when you are doing addition with regrouping. Always remember you have to add your ones column first. By adding your ones column first, if you have any tens, it gives you the opportunity to regroup that set of tens into the tens column. After you've regrouped your tens, you're going to add the tens. Now it's your turn. You're going to complete the next five problems on your paper by yourself. When you finish those five problems, you're going to come back to the PowerPoint and check your answers. If your answer's wrong, using a different color, either with a colored pencil or an ink pen or a crayon, rework the problem. Don't do any erasing. Rework the problem with the PowerPoint to come up with the correct answers. If you have any questions, you know you can send me a message on Edmodo or write your question on your paper, and we will discuss it tomorrow in class. Until then, I've enjoyed going over the addition with regrouping with you, and I'm excited to see how far we can get tomorrow.